Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Division video. And in this video, I wanted to give you guys a super quick tip that will help you find better loot while you're playing the game. Now, this isn't something that will yield a specific number of guaranteed results in a fixed period of time, and it's also not a specific location in the world where you'll say go there on repeat to farm enemies. This tip comes in the form of a passive bonus that you'll find on your armor, and you might well have overlooked in favor of other options. And that bonus is scavenging. If you open up your menu and you go to your inventory and then jump over to the character tab, scroll down to the exploration category and you'll find the bonus titled scavenging. This increases the chance of finding more and better items. What's more, this is something that applies to both inside and outside the dark zone. And as you can see here, my scavenging bonus is sitting at 104%. And if we jump back to my character overview, you can see that my mask and my knee pads both have the scavenger bonus. The higher the bonus, the more effective it is, and the more effective it is, the more and better loot you find. Now, as I'm sure you guys can imagine, it's a little bit hard to provide accurate data or numbers on just how this bonus affects your loot drops when loot drops are random. I mean, you could go the entire day without seeing a single high-end drop, and then another day you could see one drop within the first hour of playing. That is RNG for you. It's completely and utterly random. However, the scavenger perk can at least help tip things slightly more in your favour. So what I can do is give you some evidence based on my experience thus far. Yesterday, not a single piece of my armor had the scavenger stat, and as such, the bonus was considerably lower. And if you guys have been watching my streams, you'll know that I've been playing the game pretty much non-stop. Yesterday's stream was around 6 hours long, as was today's. The only difference between yesterday and today is that this morning, I recalibrated some of my gear so that I could get the scavenging bonus. Both yesterday's and today's streams also included pretty similar activities, about an hour or so of open world encounters, and then a good 4 hours or so of killing enemies in the dark zone. But if we then go and compare rewards between the two different days, yesterday I got one high end drop the entire stream, well technically speaking I got two but the second one came from challenge mode, and that was a guaranteed drop upon completion, so let's ignore that. One high end drop in about 6 hours of playing. However today, in a similar environment with the 104% scavenger bonus, I got 6 high end drops. 2 guns, a machine gun and a sidearm, as well as 3 weapon mods, a magazine, grip and suppressor, and also a gear mod, this prototype performance mod. So in a very similar time window, I got 6 times as many high end rewards thanks to the scavenger bonus. Now it pains me that I can't give you guys accurate numbers and say something like, a 20% scavenger bonus will yield X results, but as mentioned, loot is random, and as such it's extremely difficult to try and quantify, so hopefully a look at my past few days of playing should at least demonstrate the value in this bonus. Now I appreciate this is also not a bonus you'd likely want to roll on your final endgame gear, because you would obviously much rather focus on bonuses that actually improve your agent, but while you're leveling and while you're gearing up, if you have gear that you know you're ultimately going to replace, then visit the recalibration station and see if you can roll any scavenger bonuses to help you out. And if you're new to recalibration, then check out the video I did yesterday for more details. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. It was just a super quick tip, but hopefully it should help you guys get some better drops while playing. If you guys did find this helpful, then a like would be super appreciated, and comment down below and let me know if you've got any good drops lately. Aside from that, thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.